Okay, here's the Island Club, 118. You can see all these buildings surround this beautiful lake. And then the tall buildings way in the back, those are beachfront. And you have some really nice tennis courts and a really nice tennis program, really nice amenities, beautifully landscaped. This is like the way Palmetto Dunes is set up, but it's its own little enclave here in a more affordable area. So this is the porch, it's not covered. I don't see anyone with a covered porch necessarily, except for maybe the upstairs ones. There's no one above here. So I don't know if you can put an awning here or not, but the morning sun is that way. And the sun's setting, as you can tell, this way towards the front left of the building. Okay, now here's your living room area. And it really hadn't been touched up much. It has carpet and tile. And old furniture. So it's really got a dated feel. And it's got the old chandelier. So these people probably had a long time. That's why it's a 295. It's a better shape than I thought it'd be. It's got wallpaper. And the popcorn ceilings but this could be dolled up quite a bit. You've got a big dining area and you've got this big living room area, like a standard living room with a nice view, nice sound from the water to keep it circulating. Okay. And that's some type of little flower on there, decorative. Then you have an old fashioned little bar. The front door's right there. The window out to the hallway is there and I'll go out there in just a minute. Old appliances, single bowl sink. It's not super deep. Dishwasher, phone, your old cabinets. This lighting, fluorescent lighting. that's with the frosted type glass. Uh, you know, hanging ceiling type thing. Microwave above the range. Wallpaper, very dated. The refrigerator looks old as could be. The stackable washer and dryer fitting in right there. And trash can underneath of this. You have your hot water heater and your air conditioning unit here. The hot water heater is 2015. The air conditioner is 2008. You can see that right there. That can last a long time. Uh, I don't know about the compressor outside, but that's been changed. That's what gets most of the salt air, which corrodes it a little bit quicker. So here's your front door. And I'll open it up so you can see up the steps, which we saw from before. Your neighbor right across the hall and two people down. So that's the area with the parking lot. I don't know what that wire is, probably cable for TV. They do have some lights there that are uh, solar powered lights for the walkway. There is a little coat closet here and supply closet with all the stuff, ironing boards, vacuum cleaner mop and such. And then this is where you have your little powder room. They do have cultured marble on there. They did oil rubs, bronze and a new light bar but that culture marble might be original and the cabinets might, well, the doors look like they were changed. Toilets probably been changed once. Again, these were built back in 1980. Tile, a little threshold over that. And then on the front of the unit is the master bedroom. Popcorn ceiling. They've got the theme of green going in here and then mauve or pink or shrimp or peach or whatever. That chair, and the sidewalls are kind of beige. And then the red pillows to tie in with the blinds or the uh, drapes. Well, it's a good size room, king size bed. Full size uh, 
bathroom. Here's the door. It's the flat doors. You have a little closet here that's locked. This one's locked, so the owners have both of those closets for themselves. But there is a double closet over here. So it's much bigger than most. This is 760 square feet. So you can hang a lot of stuff. Looks like they have all their stuff in here. They probably do not rent it out, but they lock stuff up in there. So that way, if anyone has to come in and service anything, or if they're away back at their home, if this is the second home, which it probably is. And it's probably been that way for a long, long time. The old cabinets. Looks like a new cultured marble. They may have put on this one. That may be the old light bar. And then they've obviously retiled and put in a uh, cast iron tub. It's a low tub, so it's easy to get in and out of. And a new toilet that's elevated and elongated. And there's no linen closet, just a couple towel racks. So. Try to show this to you. I'm sorry for all the bounciness. You can freeze it and look at pictures, get an idea, but it's it's so much bigger and nicer. It might be a good compromise for you guys. Uh, I will take another video of the grounds because this is really a nice location. And to get this for 295, even with the appliance and upgrades you need to do, just put some new flooring in, paint the walls, scrape the ceilings, put in some new appliances. You're talking 12,000, probably, maybe 15. I know I put you a little over the 300, but it'd be a good, good opportunity. And then you could rent it out short term and get some pretty good money. Uh, let's see if this is a sofa bed. Yes, it is. That's a big sofa bed. It looks pretty comfortable. It just kind of looks dated. It's nice and thick and heavy. But that view is pretty spectacular. And then just walk to the beach. Okay, I will talk to you on the next one.